70% of viewers aren't subscribed to Globetrotting, so if you haven't already, feel free to join up and support more future aviation analysis. Delta is one of the major US carriers, whose operations could even confuse an employee. As one of the largest airlines globally, and a primary US carrier, it comes with many responsibilities, and their operations are by no means small. Today I take a look at their expansive mainline fleet. I won't go into an overview of the company because quite frankly there's a lot, so let me just cut straight to the chase. Delta has 996 aircraft to its name, but 887 of those are actually in active service at the time of recording, and 109 are in storage. This is always going to be subject to change depending on when you may be viewing the video. So it's not a tiny fleet, and the beautiful thing about Delta is you can see one of their aircraft likely in almost every corner of the globe. They're also notoriously known for flying so many different fleet types, ultimately great for an aviation enthusiast, but in 2023, quickly becoming something the airline wants to remove themselves from doing. The pandemic certainly helped them in the transformational process, but it is still a work in progress and can't be done overnight. Beginning on a smaller scale, the airline operates a fleet of Boeing 717-200s, of which 65 actually remain in current active service, but 36 are in storage. The 717s have been a mainstay at Delta for some time, and they are the largest operator of the 717 in the world by quite a significant stretch. If you are interested to learn more about the 717, this was covered in a video recently. The 717's average age is around 21 years, which you may think is old, and yes, to a certain extent it is, but this type isn't even in the top 5 oldest series when measured by their average age. So instead, that crown goes to the currently in storage MD-88, which won't return to flying, but is still on their books and per Sirium fleet data is at 32.7 years. Away from the 717s, the airline operates a fleet of Airbus A220s or formerly the C-Series. It also flies the only two currently active variants, the Dash 100 and the Dash 300. Starting with the smaller type, it has 45 in-service A220 100s, which average an age of only 3.4 years. It is one of the youngest fleet types that they have. The A220 300s, however, are even newer to their operations, with an average age of 1.9 years and 15 of these being in service. The A220 at Delta has very quickly become a popular choice for missions and helped replace other aging regional jets. Additionally, the A220's popularity at Delta is part of Airbus's broader mission to expand its A220 presence in the United States, a critical underlying ambition when they did take the program over in 2018, and what many people would say has been a success thus far. Delta flies the A320 family extensively as well, with four different variants included in their fleet, beginning with the smallest A319-100, 55 of these remain in service. The A319 is among the smallest members of the A320 family, only beaten out by the A318, which certainly wasn't as extensively seen worldwide as the 19. The A320-200 acts as the base standard and most widespread variant, and this is present in Delta's active fleet, with 61 in service. It's only outshone, though, by the A321-200, with a staggering 127 of these in service. It's very clear, therefore, just how heavily Delta relies on the A320 family for its narrowbody operations, with it being a massive driving force in their network. The A319s average an age of 21 years, whereas the A320s a massive 27.5, making them the oldest active fleet type in operations, measured again by the average age of the collective flying fleet. And the A321s, well, they come in much younger, at just 4.4 years. As part of Delta's next generation, the airline is already welcoming the A321 new engine option, with 31 in active service. These A321neos will play a similar role to the existing current engine options, but really enhance their network and make the business more efficient and reduce costs as well, which is something the company really wants to achieve sooner rather than later. 
Unlike typical airlines, Boeing actually features narrowbody aircraft in the Delta fleet, so the airline hasn't stuck with just Airbus or Boeing for these operations. The 737 is equally as pivotal. Delta flies a staggering 146-900 ERs, with 17 in storage. However, it also flies the smaller and more base standard Dash 800 with 76. While it flies the A320 family, as mentioned, the 737s are massively essential too. They do range in age, the Dash 800s are the older of the two variants, whereas the Dash 900 ERs average around about 7.4 years, which is still a fantastic age for these aircraft to be positioned at. Working towards larger planes, we move to the A330 series, a common theme certainly for most programs where applicable for the Delta network is the older member of the family is being replaced by a new engine option, at least visible through Airbus aircraft. They do have the A330-200 and Dash 300s to their name, which feature 9 and 15 in active service respectively. However, these aircraft spotlights in the past year or so has diminished significantly thanks to the arrival of the flashy new A330 NEOs. Already 22 of these have been delivered to the company and they're now widely seen on international services from locations right around the United States. I thought I'd stick with Airbus and work our way up to the last remaining Airbus aircraft in their fleet. That's the A350 series. This has become one of the airline's most pivotal long-haul fleet types, especially following the retirement of the 777s that was a casualty from the effects of the pandemic. The airline has 26 A350s in service and has a view to continue securing more of these in the future with the need for more capacity on long-haul routes as it overhauls that fleet. Part of the overhaul includes removing all the remaining fleet types that are deemed no longer efficient, and the types that I'm going to be mentioning now, beginning with the 757, where the airline still flies the Dash 200 and the Dash 300. The Dash 200s are the third most popular variant in the fleet, with a staggering 98 in service and 13 in storage. It's one of four variants with over 100 total units to Delta's name, and they have 16 remaining 757-300s. Not as much, but when you put them together, the 757 very much becomes a staple, and many would say Delta simply wouldn't look the same without having the 757. But soon, these will depart for good as the company enters into the next era. A next era that will also not include the final aircraft to take a look at. That being their 767s, which are seen on day-to-day -day operations at Delta right around the world. The airline flies the 767-300ER with 44 of these in service and the Dash 400ER with 21, which comes with no doubt the extended range option, but also additional capacity over the Dash 300. The 767s are ultimately among some of the oldest variants in the overall fleet, measured by that average age, around the 22 to 27 year mark. What is interesting about the Delta fleet is not just how many aircraft types actually feature, because it's a staggering amount, and why the video is of this length, but also the trajectory of the airline and where they're headed when it comes to choosing specific aircraft manufacturers to power their future fleet and where these orders lie. It's an interesting observation that I made and I want to explore it in its own video to come in the next few weeks, as I feel it definitely deserves its own analysis. Until then, any thoughts on the Delta fleet? You can let me know down below in the comments. Thank you very much for the support. Take care and be safe. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time for much more aviation analysis. And we'll fly